Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use 8 sharp to program a drum loop. So I've got 8 sharp on the left here and I've got this Roland Xenology Pro with a techno kit and 8 sharp is plumbed into that. So what I do is I usually disable the harp and I choose 8 sounds. So I'll just go through the keyboard and I can click a slot here to lock in a sound. So I will use that bass drum snare, clap, some hi-hats, we'll take some bongos. Now what I can do if I enable the ARP again, this will start playing and I can put in a 1 every 4 for the bass drum. Hi-hats. We're taking some shuffle. So there's our beat and we can use this hold button to bring back the previous notes again. So this kind of acts as a start and a stop button. So one of the things I forgot to mention is that we can actually swap out sounds here as well. So if I press hold, if I click a slot and press a different key, we can swap it out. So I'll show you an example of that. Now, one of the things we can do is I could assign all that notes to a key in the keyboard. So if I go here and we say, I'll double click that and we go C2, we want that. And if I double click this and if I press the hold button, then that shows all that notes in there against C. So I just need to press C and we get So we can walk about with other notes and So what I'll do is I'll export this, so we'll play this through and put that against the knowledge in the timeline and let's have a look at the MIDI. And I'll take that down and loop that. Now I'm going to add another part. So what I can do is add another patron. I will choose another eight note. So I'll disable the ARP. And let's see what we have. Shaker. Another one. Whistle. So we'll take that six and I'll start, I'll put in a little, let's try that, one, two, one. Maybe even moving that up so I can press alt and up and that kind of just cycles notes about. So we'll start this playing.
So we've got a bit of a topper loop there, so I'll play this through and we'll export that to the timeline, so let's put that there and I'll take that down to size and we'll duplicate this maybe four times and another four and then I'll put this over the top duplicate that and we'll loop that and we'll see what we have So that's sounding quite good uh, and one really easy thing to do here is just if I take another pattern and say we want to crash in somewhere so let's see there's a crash right so I'll press a one there and I'll just uh, I'll just play that through and so we can just take the MIDI put our crash there and we'll put our crash there and if we play that Similarly, if I wanted some rides, I'll just put in some ones here and let's find our... And there's some rides, so let's play that through. Four of those and I'll maybe just plonk that on there and plonk this one on here and we'll play this. So yeah, we can be quite interactive with the timeline and just start adding small bits and dragging it straight out onto there. So there's that's an example how to make a beat. Thanks for watching. Catch you next video.